Hello folks, uh, Ron back here today uh, with another video about uh, my favorite uh, drone of this summer, the DJI Mavic Air 2. In this video we're going to talk about uh, everybody's favorite topic, ND filters, so we'll be right back. What I did recently is I was out at the uh, the beach in the morning about uh, before between 7.30 and 8 a.m. And the sun was only up for about a little over an hour then, but it was rising and getting very bright because, you know, you're still at that sharp angle. And um, I was doing a, a little test. So um, if you bought the uh, DJI Flymore kit, <laughs> let me put this drone down. You got this little uh, filter pack here, um, and let me open it up here for you. So you got three little filters in there. Let me get them in the good light here, and uh, I'm going to go over the filters for you here. You got a uh, an ND16, an ND64, and an ND256. Uh, so um, I, I've used the ND16 quite essential, uh, you know, uh, um, a lot in uh, in the summer. Uh, it, it, it seemed to work well. I know people have complained that you know the, the fillers aren't that good in here and uh, I don't I have I don't have the polar pros for the uh, Mavic Air or the uh, free wells to compare it to. So I, I can't really say if they're better or worse than the, the you know the fillers in the big name companies that you all know for N D filters. <laughs> but um, you know it, it's done a reasonable job for me. Sixteen. So, um, you know, it's plenty, uh, it's plenty dark, um, you know, uh, I'm going to say darker than maybe some other companies, uh, uh, you know, 16ND filters for other drones that I do have Polar Pros and Free Wells for. But anyhow, um, it, I was in an extreme uh, situation this morning with uh, brightness from the sun. And um, I decided to give the ND64 a shot. I don't normally use 64 ND filters like on, on drones. I mean, I've used them on cameras for, you know, slow shutter type of effects and, you know, much higher than, than 64. But in drones, I, I, I felt that, um, you know, you use most using these ND6 filters to, um, you know, create the proper motion blur in, in your videos. Uh, you know, if you have moving objects like cars or people, or in my case, uh, you know, waves, uh, uh, you know, coming along, lapping along the shore, uh, it gives them that proper um, motion blur. So they look like they're in real time rather than, you know, um, the not in real time or, you know, like they're frozen. Um, well, not frozen, but you know what I mean, like a freeze frame where everything's crystal clear. But anyhow, so... Um, Put 64 on, and uh, usually when I, you know, in this situation, if I'd have put the ND16 on, I would have had a very hard time achieving the um, 30, uh, you know, uh, setting the, um, you know, the, the, the frame rate at 30 seconds, because, uh, uh, or, or, or 60, but I'm, I, 30 frames per second on the, I was doing 4K 30 frames per second. So I would have had a hard time setting the shutter speed at 60 because of the brightness even with the nd16 on i'd have probably had to have it you know at least 120 probably even higher but with the 64 on i had no issues achieving the proper um balance of 30 frames per second and uh a 60 uh uh you know shutter speed um it almost gave me a very good i'm going to say almost the, the perfect exposure for the situation and also gave me the proper motion blur. So um, basically what I'm saying is if um, I'd recommend using the uh, 64 if you're shooting in extreme uh, uh, brightness conditions from from the sun. Um, and, and, and now I want to get out there and try that 256 to see what that can do. Uh, I, I can't even imagine trying to get in a situation where um, uh, I need it, but I will. I will definitely, uh, you know, brainstorm and see what I can come up with. So, uh, uh, go. So, I, I, you know, I filmed this out at the beach. I got a screen recording of what I'm doing on the, uh, you know, in the app and the DJI Fly app, so you can see all the settings I'm using. You know, I'm, I'm setting, you know, frame rates, shutter speed, I, iOS, and you'll see me changing all that on the screen. And then I also have the, you know, the the uh the camera view from the sd card so you can see you know what the uh, the actual uh camera was looking at versus how it looked on the uh 
the uh, FPV on the screen. So uh, I hope you get something out of this video. If you have any questions about anything I was trying to do in this video or, you know, uh, my settings or, um, you know, just, you know, leave a comment below and I will be, you know, glad to uh, get back to you and try to answer your question. And um, I guess that's it for this one. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, don't forget to, uh, you know, uh, if you like the video, leave the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and uh, ring that notification bell for uh, more um, videos about the Mavic Air 2 and other drones and tech products. And I'm going to leave a PayPal link below if you want to buy me a cup of coffee. You know, uh, uh, you know, throw throw a couple dollars on that PayPal uh, uh, link. And uh, again, we will see you on the next one. Okay, here I am. Uh, I'm back here on the beach here in Margate City. Uh, I'm kind of near Lucy the Elephant. I'm waving to you right now. Uh, what, what we're doing today is uh, we've um, we put the ND64 on uh, filter, which is part of the um, flyboard kit that you get with the Mavic Air 2. Uh, yeah, we're, we're sorry, the, missing the headline here. We're, we're, we're testing the Mavic Air 2. But anyhow, the uh, filter kit is part of the flyboard kit. You get a ND16, an ND64, and an ND, I think, 256. Uh, I'm not positive about that last one. But anyhow, I've never used the um, 64 filter before. I've only used the 16 out of the kit. So we're here in the morning. It's a little after 8 a.m. and it's certainly bright here on the beach this time of day. The sun's, you know, getting, you know, somewhat high, but it's uh, it's still making uh, a, a lot of uh, exposure. So we're going to see how this filter kind of, if it helps us out, or it's too dark, or um, you know, we got an auto now, but eventually we'll adjust our frame rates for. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to shoot 4K uh, 30, so we're going to eventually try to adjust our uh, shutter speed to 60, which is kind of hard to maintain in this light here. So we'll see if the uh, ND64 is capable of uh, doing that for us. So, uh, you know, with um, no further ado, uh, we're up and out of here. All right, we've got up to our, our 100 feet, so I'm going to actually walk over here. i got a little shade here at the lifeguard stand. So, um, okay, let's lift the camera up again. And, yeah, we'll go out towards the water here because the water is, you know, very reflective. you got a boat out there. I think that's uh, one of those sand dredgers. But uh, let's get our port thing here because we've got our video rolling here. We didn't, I guess we weren't rolling any video on the uh, drone here before, but that's okay. I got screwed recording. So, um, okay. So we're kind of out over the water here. So we're going to turn uh, to the left I'm looking at. Um, and we're going to yaw slowly to the left and see how bad the exposure is. So, um, okay, there it is. It's 64 is doing its job, I think. You know, uh, we'll see how it looks, you know, when we get it in the editing uh, program. But it looks pretty good on my little screen here. So let's fly up. Up, up the beach a little bit here and uh, you know um, see how we do with the reflections off the waves okay looking good looking good okay but now we're gonna stop it here and you're gonna be able to see the screen so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out of auto and we're gonna go into manual so um, the shutter's at 120 now, and it should be at 60. So let's see what 60 looks like here. Okay, uh, not too bad, not too bad actually. Um, uh, we got the iOS at uh, 100. I mean, we could uh, pop that up to maybe like 400. Uh, no, no, I mean, actually, I, I went backwards. Pop that down to 100, which is, looks too dark. So let's. Uh, Let's go back up to 200 if we can get it there. So we're backed up to 200, and uh, let's fly a little bit. I think the shutter may be still a little bit too dark, but you know it's hard to tell. I'm out here in the field and it's bright, you know, bright light. So who knows? Let's try to bring it slightly back towards land here a little bit. Just get that, uh, you know, that extreme exposure to our um, left hand side there where the sun's really coming, beating down on the ocean. 
All right, watch my battery here. I'm at 51%. Okay. Um, let's try uh, going uh, just a little bit higher in exposure. Let's go up to 80, which, you know, isn't proper, but, you know, as they always say, you know, you got to know the rules before you break the rules. So, um, let's see how 80 looks. And maybe at 80 we can take our uh, hours down to one. I mean, 400? Don't like that. So let's keep. Let's stay at 200 at uh, 80. And 80 may be too high here. So uh, maybe uh, the you know uh, 60 was the proper exposure. So let's go. Let's go up out up and out of here a little bit again. How do you think that looked, folks? I think maybe the 60 was the best frame rate. So, okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to turn this baby around here. We're going to, I'm going to slowly yaw. We're going to yaw this direction so you don't get blown away by the exposure coming off the ocean because it would be dark this direction. Okay, so now we're going to come back with, a, with the sun at our backs. So that's going to create an entirely different scenario here. So now uh, you can see now we're going to try the uh, 60 again here. Which uh, now what we're going to have to do is, uh, yeah, we're going to go. Now we're going to have to go way too low in the thing. But let's turn our iOS up to uh, 400. Okay, so now we got 400. Now we could probably go back to 30. Okay, that looks looking good. So now we're going to fly home at uh, 4K 30 frames per second with our shutter set at 60 and our iOS set at 400. And it's looking real good on my screen here. I hope it looks as good in the final video and you can see our histogram down there uh it's looking pretty good too i mean i got a partially blocked hold on i mean it, it you know it's it's got that big speck in the middle it doesn't have much on the um you know uh the right hand side there where the land is but uh i'm gonna say it's looking pretty darn good so we're, we're, we're coming home we're just flying in p mode here no, no sport mode uh we got a uh, 42% left on our battery, but you know, we're, we're cruising right back here. There's hardly any breeze out here this morning, so it's going to be no issue with uh, fighting any wind or anything like that. So, um, yeah, we're almost back. Uh, you know, we're, let's see here, am I uh, out here? You know, what's good? You know, here's something I discovered in settings. Um, every time you fly it under safety, See where it says um, advanced pilot assistance uh, when able aircraft avoids obstacles, and that's not what I'm looking for. The thing where it sees objects to, um, you know, the the sea is things that could uh, attract and stuff like that. I don't know where that setting is. Hold on, I think it's in here. Um, target scanning. Every time you fly, it turns tar you turn on it. It turns off. Every time you, um, you know, uh, turn the turn the drone and controller off. So, okay, uh, my target was too small. Okay, where is this darn drone here? There we go. Okay, okay. See now it, uh, it sees the boat. Now it finally saw me. Okay, let's do a uh, point of interest. And uh, let's go a little faster than that and go. And we're still recording. So there we're doing a point of interest. I think we're doing a point of interest. Yeah, it's, it didn't, it did stop. This, yeah, this is always kind of um, hit and miss here. Oh, I stopped the video, darn it. Point of interest. Go. There we go. So we're doing that, uh, you know, uh, point of interest thing off focus tracking, and uh, this this system has so many names that I can't remember them all. But uh, it's doing good here, and I'm uh, 41 feet in the air, so it's not going to hit anything in the middle of the beach. All right, so there we go.
So we're down to uh, 26. Uh, it's going to do. It's going to want to do the return home here in a second. I'm down to 26. Okay, let's get out of this uh, mode. How do you get out of this? Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this test of the. Uh, 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 the DJI uh, 64 uh, ND filler that came with the fly model kit, I, I think it was a big success. You know, uh, a lot of people would say, ah, 64 is a, you know, filler is a waste of time, but, uh, you know, I really thought it did, uh, you know, well out here. So, um, you know, thanks for joining me for another uh, adventure out here with the uh, Mavic Air 2, one of my favorite drones of all time already. So, uh, we will see you on the next one.